Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Yes. Welcome back and happy... What is this? Friday in the wee hours of the morning because I don't have to work. But I have some appointments I need to attend to. Okay, but we're going to be in shit's field today. And we ain't going to have no comments. We're just going to tell it how we see it over here at the house. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. And we're going to be talking about three people today. Two good, wonderful individuals as far as what we can see and the optics that they're giving us and how they get down in these streets. And then we're going to talk about somebody at the last part of the video that they need to get themselves together. They need to find Jesus. They need to pull it all together. Okay, but we're going to be strictly in Shitsville because that's basically what we're trying to avoid. But Portia keeps bringing us on a first class seat to Shitsville and we might as well just build a house out there because that's where we're going to be retiring. <laughs> <laughs> but I want y'all to go and catch a video called Put in Work and it's by Swoop. I mean that is going to be the anthem on this show when I get ready to read people how y'all say but I just be saying trying to get them to give them all right but we got baby girl out there doing her due diligence her dad which is Dennis McKinley got her out there knowing what it means to give back to the community. And that's what I like to see. A baby girl putting in work. Yeah, she is putting in work. But here we go with the song. Mm. 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 Yes. Put in work, put in work, put in work. Mmm, all the talk is useless. Mmm, baby, no excuses. Nah, shortcuts for the foolish. Uh, on the way to do this. Uh, you gotta put in the work. Yes, uh, you gotta put in the work. Uh, uh, you gotta put in the work. Yes, yes, you gotta put in the work. Mmm. All the talk is useless. Mm. Don't, don't need excuses. Mm. Shortcuts are for, for the foolish. A foolish. Mm. On the one way to do this. Uh, you gotta put in work, Portia. Uh, you gotta put in work, Portia. Uh, you gotta put in work, Portia. Uh, like your ex man. Okay. I just had to throw that out there. Let me try to get better with this rapping because I really, really like that song. But it's called Swoop and it's put in work. So y'all go download it, stream it, whatever, and then y'all get the vibe. So when y'all hear me over here rapping, when I come on by some seriousness and I want people to just look at other people and get that drive, get that motivation and get it for yourself. You can't depend on no mama, daddy, uncle, sister, brother. You can't depend on your man or your wrong man. Okay, you got to depend on yourself and get out there and hustle. You know what I'm saying? Make it do what it do. Each day you get up that the Lord lets you get it up you're supposed to be giving it your all and trying to make it better for you and your family and that's what Dennis McKinley is over here he putting in work people he is putting in work he said all the talk is useless don't need no excuses shortcuts for the foolish there's only one way to do this Hey, we got to put in the work. Hey, hey, we got to put in the work. What? What? We got to put in the work. Uh, uh, uh. Put in the work, Portia. 
Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So Dennis McKinley is definitely doing it on thing here in Atlanta and all across the nation. Wherever he can put a franchise or get people to invest in his idea that he solely brought up, bought into fruition. And now he ain't got the chains of um, the original hot dog factory. He just got them everywhere. And I'm loving it. He getting back into the hair thing. He's bringing that back up. It's called Good Good Hair dot ig he's back in business so go on and support a local brother or you know just support him because he's a black man out there trying to do it and he's setting the example for his child and maybe for future children okay but he got the crew lounges everywhere and anywhere and i don't think they can compare to nene leaks but i'm gonna give nene leaks her due diligence by putting herself out there trying to make it do what it do hopefully she won't go belly up and mess up those people livelihood that she has employed but dennis shoo, he is balling now this is what i'm talking about balling balling on a low key you see he ain't dressed up he ain't trying to do the nine to five look the after hours like he's showcasing in suits and ties all the time now he, he catering to the regular people yes he catering to the regular folks that have to get out there and make it do what it do so these other people can salute and sit out you know eating cheese like my mom used to say I mean telling on folks trying to get up that way instead of getting into the grind and doing it the best way and that's putting your work in your worth ethic and he also giving back to the community that's another local food bank place that serves the community and serves the children i do believe so he depending on jose williams organization because portia pretty much effed that up for him so he wanted to brand himself in another direction but he still want to give back to the community and he got baby girl out there mm-hmm. and you see that light by star j craziness that's my baby girl. Y'all go over there and support her and her YouTube channel. Y'all seeing a smaller version of me. Okay. <laughs> That's what she gets out of her livelihood. So go over there. Sign up on her channel. She got more followers than I do. But hey, it just is what it is, right? But she's a good uh not a, I don't want to say she a comedian, but she she make you laugh, she make you chuckle, she make you you know do what it do. But she be talking some real facts on her level with her age group. But a lot of people seem to like her in my age group as well as a little older. So that's another spin you want to take. Just trying to shout out people that I know out there trying to do the darn thing and trying to be entrepreneurs out there. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, what is Portia Williams doing? child please she just all into those aesthetics she is all into what beautifies her she ain't doing shit around him but baby girl uh, i tell you dennis got her on the right road mama gina probably got her on the right road helping him raise his daughter she's giving back y'all should go on his uh instagram account that baby girl is putting in work I was waiting to see the sweats fall from her pretty little face. Because she was trying to be like a assembly line worker running around. Now, little worker B. I thought that's what it needs to be. More kids. She is setting the example for more kids to follow in her footsteps. Giving back to the community and having her own. And you see how many locations I just showed y'all that Dennis have with that crew lounge. Baby boy is blowing up so when he hit 50 55 he can retire and his daughter can go to college and probably ivy league if she's smart enough and will do well she can go there paid on her daddy's dime okay but just leave these two nuts right him one of them verified in social media world on instagram and the other one is not yes prince i said the same thing what the fuck okay what the fuck is going on here if the man's supposed to be helping her we need to know about him he net his network and what he do we need to see it he need to be verified on instagram at the very least but he is not but the only thing simon and portia is going to be able to show pj is how to floss how to Put the optics out there. You might not have it. You got to fake it till you make it. But people 
You know, they'll follow you. Just put up a good picture. Put up a good image. And you can live that Hollywood lifestyle. Hell to the no, no, no. And I hope Dennis be ready to refute everything that Portia and Simon is trying to show, baby girl. Because all that is just a fantasy world. All that is just smooth optics to get you to look at them when there's nothing to look at. Portia and Simon are best at partying, smoking, drinking, and having a good time. See, that's something baby girl need to 86 off her list of not learning what to do. Because you cannot floss like that if you didn't put in the work. You see what I'm saying? If you didn't put in the work, you have no right to floss. And, of course, Simon is using Portia for her possible Maybe still have some connections in the entertainment field. Or hell, at least we know who Portia is and how she got her meager starts. Okay? But we know nothing about Simon. But he comes off as this self-made made self-made man billionaire okay but we ain't seeing nothing but rented shit going here and there and he's babysitting cars now i don't know what shamia deal is because she seems to have been a hard worker a choreographer dance choreographer and a dance uh person uh, with the Atlanta Hawks uh, cheerleader team or whatever you want to call it, spirit leaders or whatever i don't know okay but she's doing a the, the darn thing and she has a job and she doesn't have to work from what i hear but she's over there hanging with uh the wannabe martha stewart the black one she's over there hanging with good housekeeping portia williams x out of everything else we know portia can't cook she was over there trying to cook with glues one time trying to make her so-called boyfriend a african liberian dinner or um, breakfast or who knows and i'm like is that audrey hepburn in the back so somebody really must be looking at my videos because at one time they did not have any pictures on their wall but looky 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 who comes cooking uh, Portia, you don't care about your blackness. Simon, you don't care about your Africanness. Why y'all got a white woman that was in Hollywood playing movies and this, that, and the third that you probably couldn't see back in the day when it was like the 50s or 60s? You weren't allowed to see it. But you got a white person on your wall. Go figure. If you're so much into the African life uh, portion, you want to learn about the heritage. Why you ain't got no African furniture up in there? Why you ain't got no portraits? Why you ain't got no uh, artifacts? What the hell are you got going on? You're a Martha Stewart, Caucasian, white, European magazine, walking woman. Is that what you are? You trying to be Martha Stewart, but the black version failed. You failed miserably. You're trying to pull off this magnificent picture of the first lady and the, and the first man, African, uh, what do you call it, icons for the Atlanta setting, you and Simon Gabadia, but you have no African stuff in your house, your rented house, the house that you're trying to buy. Hell, I don't know what it is no more because it seems like y'all stay in Shitsville and nothing comes of the truth, all right? But you don't say you and Simon have given us the perfect uh optics or showcasing y'all love through family through friends through party and good eating and celebration but for one other thing we see is portia twirling around and i don't know what them spots is on her stomach she might have got some liposuction when i thought she was pregnant so yes i apologize for jumping the gun thinking the girl was pregnant but my family y'all told me don't believe the hype that ain't that Portia just got that belly from that eating and that liquor. That's what's going on. And I have to say thank you, family, for telling me, setting me straight. Because this little heifer, this little cow is not doing anything but just showing us how we don't want to get down. Okay? Who is these people, Hoppo? Who are these people? Is, th is that your cousin? Or is that somebody, a crisis actor you don't put in there, Portia? We want to know. Because we thought we saw the most of your family on your mama's side and a little bit on your daddy's side. But you're trying to tell us this is your cousin? Who is she, Hoppo? Break it down. Give us a name. Let us Google her. Or at least give her a name. All right? Talking about these folk love you and this, that, and third. No, you couldn't get Storm coming over there because she tried to put Dennis in jail, you and him, back 
when you had your crazy ass show that don't need to be resurrected hopefully it's still burning okay burning 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 okay like those fires that are in california that be setting off in the woods and just taking over everything and then this is supposed to be simon gabali's niece i'm like really where are these folk coming from, Portia? Because we sure didn't see on the first half when you were trying to blend families together. We didn't see anything of for, uh, uh, Simon's people. Because if you wanted to blend families together, we should have saw some people other than his children that he really don't have. Only when he want to have them for a picture op. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm still trying to figure out how y'all threw an Easter egg hunt and they were passing out $100 bills. I'm like, ah. Uh, what did the kids do to deserve them hundred dollar bills just to run over and, and act for y'all for a few hours or whatever to give us those proper aesthetics okay if you were paying them a hundred dollars an hour here you could have called me up i would have came over there i would have came over there and really act the fool and it would have turned it out and y'all would have had something to laugh and kiki about because that's just what i do naturally i don't be trying to be funny to y'all but y'all seem to get a little cheat a little chuckle here and there and sometimes i had to tell myself damn girl you crazy you know what i'm saying i had to laugh at my own self but the some of the stuff i be bringing out my mouth okay but it just is what it is but yes i love it love it love it and if i like it y'all gotta love it to see how that's the guy i was telling you about his name is swoop i think it is and it's uh what is it called? Put in the work or put in work. Yes, those lyrics are just music to my ears. He's saying all the talk is useless. Don't need no excuses. Shortcuts from the foolish. Only one way to do this. And that's put in work. Because Portia giving us shitsville. Shitsville where we have to look at her sideways. We have to look at her. You know that they call it the black folks look. The, the black folk woman look when you look at somebody from the top of their head and slowly go down their body to the sole of their feet and then come back up where you mean eye contact and then that's when we have to say girl bye boy bye <laughs> okay because you ain't coming nothing uh you ain't bringing nothing to the table but total foolishness foolishness and sh and that's why we're in shits feel because i don't understand why portia always want to give us optics of her body her face her hair and then when you really sit down and deduce things to what you're seeing she has fake hair she has fake nails she has fake boobies she has a fake butt uh i would say something about the feet but they look like they hers but i don't know i really don't know she probably has some fake toenails on because that's just how she gets down that's how she get down y'all it's a shame to say, but she done made over herself so much to where she's not even recognizable. And when my family, the red lipstick hustler, yes, she sent me a picture of Portia called herself sitting at a desk with her feet up on the table and she looking drunk as hell or she look like she's having a hangover ladies i want y'all to tell y'all one thing makeup is an accessory it's not something that you have to put on your face each and every day your face need to breathe okay but in the type of work that she somewhat is in she has to put off those optics but girl when you put on makeup all the time you more what do you call it you uh morph into another whole individual and y'all will see what i'm talking about towards the end of the video if you stick around okay but i'm like uh god continue to bless dennis and him doing his thing okay over there with trying to build a legacy and revenue streams for his daughter to um uh, we call it inherit one day but he's giving her he's starting her off at the foundation and that's giving back to the community to the less fortunate and i am so proud of him i'm gonna keep on uh putting him up putting him out there and showcasing everything good that he is definitely doing out there for himself 
for his family and for the community. You know, like, hey, I might have to start back voting if he run for uh, an office around here. Because he's from good stock. His mama taught him well. They don't really talk too much about his daddy, so I can't really say. Is that was some uh, messed up stuff that his daddy left? Or, you know, whether he was a good man or a bad man, I don't know. Because they didn't really show us that side. But I know his mama is down like four flat tires, ten toes down. Uh, ten fingers up when it comes to her son and like I said even when we had that Portia Williams Portia Family Matters mess Dennis came out uh, smelling like a rose and then he even has his own cognac people you see what I'm saying the man is an inventor he is an entrepreneur he is an insightful individual when it comes to making money all right and providing jobs for the community this brother's all right in my book. I don't care what Portia say or what she feel like she need to say. We just got to shut her down. Because you can't say nothing about a man that, you know, uh, you know he cheated. I understand, you know, cheating is everywhere. It's running rampant in our uh, world today. But those who don't cheat, that have that good fight and still know what it means to accept their vows. For better, for worse, for richer, or poorer, through sickness and hell. All of that and they take it serious. God bless those unions okay but again candy tried to tell portia about dennis and his ways with women he ain't settled down and maybe he could have settled down but portia just wanted to get all in the kool-aid think she gonna come up and separate his mother from him the business it need to be hers she need to have all say and mama gina wasn't playing that and i'm like damn right mama gina you help that boy get his start and you're gonna help him Get into a good retirement for you and him. And baby girl PJ. Okay. Set your foundation. Water your trees. Your branches. Your bushes. And they will grow. Okay. Because they set out with good stock. Good hard work. Good hard ethics. And good hard morals. Okay. So that's what he has definitely. Him and Mama Gina have solidified in uh, PJ's life. So she's learning all this thing about businesses. Having your own. And serving the community. She's taking it in. And hopefully she will go to school. But you know when you got a successful dad like that That's already set the waters for her Where she can have smooth sailing She may not need to go She'll probably be self-taught up in the business. But even if she don't want to go into her father's business, she might want to start her own thing. Okay, but at least he's telling her, instructing her, and guiding her when it comes to uh, being a good citizen. Being a good steward of uh, the money she's making and taking care of the community. One person at a time you see what i'm saying loving it loving it loving it but only thing it seems to me and i'm not really trying to bash portia but only thing it seems to me from what portia has given me far as the optics and the perception that i am looking at and evaluating the stuff that she does around here in atlanta only thing pj can learn from her is how to catch a man okay through your looks okay through everything aesthetically pleasing and that's one thing i don't think miss pj is going to be partaking in it's just my thoughts my thoughts only my own opinion because she's fostering too much good in her and she's gonna know one day that uh, beauty is vain beauty is a selfish mode that you shouldn't be partaking in it's almost like idolizing yourself and you're not supposed to be idolizing anybody only person you're supposed to be looking up to and giving praises to is the lord jesus christ okay they ain't talking for people that don't believe in what i believe in this is just what i believe in okay and you shouldn't be uh Looking at yourself as someone you got to idolize. That everything has to be perfect. This, that, and the third. Because the Bible speaks of idolization. Okay. You're not supposed to do that. And it seems like Portia is her own God. That she is idolizing. And it's all about her. So. Hopefully. As PJ grows older. She will understand the two things. And what really is meant for her to take in and strive to versus using her body, her face, and the, the whole seduction of luring a man uh, so she can cash in financially. See, that's all Portia has given me since I've known her. And then she wrote her book trying to uh, 
elevator of how, why she thinks the way she does and she comes and go the way she does. If you get a book, you can tell a lot of things in there why she acts that way. But she said that she has matured and she's definitely not doing some of the things she used to do that got her in trouble but only thing i've seen is smoke and mirrors from her she hasn't learned anything she hasn't matured she thinks life is a party every day that things are just given to you you don't have to work for it you can scheme for it you can plot for it and you can get it from somebody else but you don't have to put the good foot forward and get it for yourself Portia have you heard of anything called the feminist movement baby girl now I'm halfway with them but not all the way <laughs> I mean, I think a person needs to know how to have their own, okay? Because it ain't nothing like a woman who has her own and knows herself fully, okay? Versus depending on someone else to uh, make a way for you, okay? Because if that person is not in your life anymore and you didn't learn anything to hold on to what you got, Everything is futile. You won't shake your ground. You have no solidification, no solid, firm foundation. Okay? I think Portia gave that up and wanted to start serving the devil. Okay? But that's just my thought. And that's the way I see her trending on here and doing things because she thinks everything is a party. Party, hardy, party, hardy. No consequences. Just do you. Okay? That whole Alistair Crowley thing or do what thou will and forget anything about morals anything about values anything about ethical behaving around here she thinks you just party look good and surround yourself around money that's what she thinks is going to continue to uplift her but like i said she's serving the devil yes you're going to have all this and more but when it's all done and said the smoke is clear the air is clear the vision is clear you're going to be ass out okay and like i said don't know if shum uh what's her name shabia is a friend or a foe because right now she's in that radio personality where she dishes dirt on celebrities and i wonder how much dirt has she got on you portia that when y'all do fall out she's gonna give it to you well i guess you're gonna be sending her cease and desist cease and desist letters Meaning she can't divulge anything. Or did you ever have her sign an NDA clause just because in case something like that may happen in the future? Did you, Porsche? I want to know. People want to know over here at the house. Because that's how we do. We just evaluate what's given to us. We have a little conversation. We may drink a little cocktail. We may drink a little coffee. We may drink a little beverage called ginger ale. We might drink orange juice when we're sitting around parlaying, looking at people like you and asking the question, why? Why? And what the hell? Okay, what the hell is going on here? She over there acting like she mobs a steward and unprepared all of this eatery for her so-called guests, her bridesmaids. I'm like, when you get married, Porsche, you know, forget it. Whether we think you should be with the person or not, forget all of that. Okay, we come in, uh, we call it hands, no holes barred. We come in all with the hands. Get married or don't get married. We could care less. We don't give a fuck right now. We do not care. Okay, just go on. Get married so we can have more commentary to talk about you even more. And how foolishness you are running out in those streets. And another thing. How dare you call yourself going to uh put out or be for some company that makes vibrators or sex toys i'm like are you trying to compete with candy birds now baby and i know i was on her uh with some kind of unveiling thing she did for her brand her cosmetic line as well as her um bedroom candy line and she was saying she sees somebody i know she was talking about you portia i don't know why people got to be doing all this talking but not saying nothing i mean if you want to blast somebody out use names okay baby you grown you making statements you don't have to use no subliminals you don't have to use no key phrases just go and say who you talking about just like i said i'm coming over here talking about you portia yes i am i'm coming talking to you so you won't get confused thinking it's somebody else okay nah 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 so i'm like can piss poor on you because you should have just said 
Portia over there trying to sell sex toys. I guess she needs the income revenue. And, you know, because she was out there once upon a time trying to um, do some commercializing for a, a debit card. <laughs> I'm like, I thought that's what you do when you get my age trying to retire. You go up there and do the AARP situation or you're talking about uh, death benefits and all of that. That's what you do when you get old and they don't want you no more because you probably can't even remember your name half the time, let alone a line. All right. But yes, that's all Portia has ever given us uh, since the inception of becoming a reality star. She thought everything needs to be uh, about the looks, the looks. And God, I, I hope never, nothing never happens to her and her looks get, uh, what do you call it, compromised. Because what would she do? What would she do? Because that's all thing she give us is face and body. Face and body. Because we ain't going to say fashions because no. They look like they come from look like they come from Fashion Nova anyway. We're gonna keep that for Cynthia Bailey. She give us fashion and face all day long. Cynthia Bailey. I gotta do something on her as well. But yeah, Portia is in the house. They're giving us a little bit more uh to see, to visualize of their lives living in that mansion or mini mansion or damn house, however you wanna see it. But I know I keep seeing white stuff on the walls of pictures of white people. I keep seeing art of uh, European, white, Caucasian type of Mediterranean style furniture. And I'm like, is this just a smoke screen? Do you not want to be black, Simon? Do you not want to be black, Portia? Because they show got a lot of black art, black, uh, what do you call it? artifacts out there that you can definitely dress your house in but the only thing i see is a picture of uh what's her name audrey hepburn sitting up there all right why don't you put martha stewart up in there since you're trying to do the good housekeeping thing trying to think you keep a good house you keep a modern tile uh type style house and you're into furniture decorating you're into furniture decor Go on and give it to us like you want to give it to us and say you just want to be like the white folks. You want to be that privy life. You want to be catered to and seen and hope they will pick you. Okay, that's what it looks like. Portia and Simon, y'all don't even love y'all selves because you don't love your race. That is what you're giving me when I'm looking at optics. Okay, and like I said, optics it's a special uh, specialty that you have to acquire to make an informed decision by reasoning and deducing what you are shown. Okay, but that's what we got here. We got trending news on the same bullshit that they've been giving us since we knew anything about Portia and Simon. Okay, <coughs> we have definitely come to a situation where we just have to call a thing a thing. A tit a tat and we gotta call Portia she ain't never bullshit okay bullshit here bullshit there bullshit today bullshit tomorrow okay because she hadn't come into her own she's still depending on a man to take care of her or her her life existence is futile meaning she don't even want to live no more she can't have a man on her hand a man on her shoulder a man just there for optics use if she can't have that and she can't sit there and and um be like one of these people that don't have to work but they can still go and party take trips around the world um do this and you know just a hollywood type of billionaire type of living but see if she really was about that life we wouldn't know anything about what you're doing portia you would just be living your life how your uh your followers your fans your fanatics be saying let the girl live her life she living her best life with well, child how i've seen the wealth to get down and i've known some close to some millionaires if not because they don't like to flaunt what they got because they're not they're humble you see what i'm saying they're not flashy they're not flablon uh what call it flamboyant they ain't trying to be out there for the masses to know do you know how many people that are our, our color 
that are millionaires walking around him, but they just don't have a platform or they choose not to have a platform on social media while they're showcasing everything. You see what I'm saying? They know how to do what it needs to do and still be humble and be a servant. You see what I'm saying? Because they got to give as long as they keep receiving. They got to give. That's just the yin and the yang. That's just the way of the world. All right. But like I said, congratulations. And I salute baby girl. And we need more children following in her footsteps to become better citizens in society and leading the world. Okay. So I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing PJ run for office. You know what I'm saying? She definitely has the know-how. And she's definitely and being trained from birth how to navigate through this thing called life all right and she got a good dad there to ready catch her when she fell or fall and make her get back up and try again but when we got Portia on the other hand she's just trying to show PJ how to look good okay <laughs> how to be perfectly matched with the right accessories uh, the right facial uh, and the right surgeons. Okay, that's the only thing Portia can teach her. How to keep her body in shape without exercising. She can go get it sucked, tucked, uh, flipped, and she can smack it. I, I, I'm going to go slap it, flip it, rub it down. Okay, she can go and get all of that done to her yearly or every two years okay just to stay looking her best instead of teaching her how to eat right sleep get you know get her sleep in have less stress and exercise you know eat right did i say that no she's gonna show her how to party how to drink and how to go get a nip a nip and tuck all right that's just what portia uh pastime she's gonna have to share with her daughter okay because everything else is futile Hopefully, PJ will not get into the entertainment business because it ain't nothing but a bunch of mess. Okay, you either have to sell your soul to the highest bidder, meaning the devil, or you're going to sit and be a servant for the Lord. It just is how it is, and that's what it's going to be. All right, but yes, Portia, Portia, Portia is still out here doing or being in Shitsville. And if you can defute anything I say, please do so. You can get down in those comments and tell me what y'all thought about the situation. But at this time, the only thing I see coming from Portia is bullshit. Okay, her uh, ex-fiance, he has a large scale of revenue streams coming and going in and out and being lucrative. Okay, what can anybody tell me? what Portia got going on and please don't tell me those pampered by Portia bed sheets okay and we definitely don't want to hear about her gold naked hair situation but if anybody else can tell me if she's on a platform she's going to be on a talk show is she opening up any businesses like storefronts that she's renting out or she bought the land and she done built something on it can anybody tell me that or is Portia Williams uh running for office okay I don't know but I definitely can say that Work, win, and celebrate. Dennis McKinley is doing the doggone thing. All right. I tell you. I love it when a black person get down, give back to the community, and they're still succeeding financially. That's a beautiful picture to see. And a beautiful picture to be a role model to view that you can do the same darn things it takes a lot of hard work a lot of patience and a lot of know-how so yes but with Portia only thing we're seeing of her is how to live off somebody else's dime like I said I don't know if uh, they're both doing it together, li living off each other, because uh, Simon Gabadia's Instagram account has yet to be verified with the blue little mark, the check mark. Um, and if Peter Thomas can definitely. <laughs> if Peter Thomas can get 
a uh verification on his instagram account why haven't nene got a uh her boyfriend nione why hasn't his uh instagram account got a blue check on it okay so we got these liberian africans out here uh, by the name of simon gubadia and nione silong or something like that They've been out here moving and shaking. They're saying they're this, that, and the third. But when it comes to verifying their accounts, they have no checks. But they have a hell of a lot of followers. So I just don't know what the hell is going on here. But hey, we got to do what we got to do. We got to raise our children the way we see fit. And hopefully they'll turn out to be good communicators and leaders in the future and i think um dennis is doing a very 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 good job mama gina is definitely um uh, putting that into fruition as well and i'm like okay 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 but i took a little longer you know that's like i say you know you get me started i'm gonna talk my i'm gonna talk my ass off i'm gonna talk my ass off y'all gonna be right here with me y'all gonna be right here with me but um that's all I pretty much got for this video. And hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And you know I'm coming back with another one. Because I did put in here. But I don't know. Maybe I did. And I don't know. It's late in the day. Late in the evening hours. And uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make it do what it do. But I thought I had some photos in here. Of Portia uh, sitting at Simon Gabadia's um uh, table his uh, work table but it's not pulling up so i might have to do a separate video so we can go over to see how pa uh, portia's facial expression is looking uh and because she kind of looked like she dazed or drunk or something to that effect and we really wanted to get uh, uh the take on how y'all felt seeing her that way when she's definitely giving us all this prettiness and uh fineness uh at one point but then she's looking like she tore up from the flow up because she's having a hangover from all the party and all the drinking and all the uh parlaying and comings and goings but i'll try to get that video out before saturday so y'all can see exactly what i'm talking about but other than that y'all get down those comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about this uh this woman over here living life like it's golden and she don't need to work hard she just need to play hard <laughs> i'm like who does that and why but that's all i got for this video guys and i'll see y'all next time Bye bye